weekend, I'm going to talk about obedience. Maybe that's a word that we don't all like, because it, it indicates in our mind that we have to be a slave or a servant to something. Not when we're obedient to God. When we're obedient to God, we're obedient to love and perfection. And when we become a part of that, one with that, it manifests in our life around us and in and through us, and life becomes sweet. Now, I'll be honest with you, when I first had the call to become a minister, I fought it. I didn't want to become a minister. I thought, well, that would mean that I would have a terrible life. Well, it's been the sweetest life that anyone could ever imagine. Of course, when you join up with the perfection of God, it uh, makes everything sweeter and better. But I fought it, and a lot of people do. And once you decide to, to become obedient to God, then things begin to get sweet again. Listen to what it says in Deuteronomy 30, verses 2 and 3. When you and your children return to the Lord your God and obey God with all your heart and with all your soul, according to everything that I command you today, then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Restoration of everything that you might have lost in the past. Restore your fortunes and have compassion on you and gather you again from all the nations where God scattered you. Have you ever felt scattered in your soul where you had so many obligations, so many places? God can gather that all in and cause life to become sweet again. Believe and do what God says. The life-changing consequences for you will be limitless, and the results will be confidence and true peace of mind. We live in a world, though, that is filled with temptation, distractions, countless opportunities to wander far from the path that God has laid out for us. But as men and women who seek to be positive role models for others, we must turn our thoughts and our prayers away from the temptations and the distractions that are all around us. We must turn instead to God, seeking God's counsel, often and trusting and following the counsel that God gives. When we invite God to rule over our hearts and our souls and our lives, our obedience will bring with it a true, lasting, permanent blessing. So today and every day, vow to live in, in accordance to God's rules and not the world's rules. The world may lead you astray, but God never will. You're safe with God.